Hello, we are going to look at how to play Minesweeper. Minesweeper is a game um, that used to be on all computers. I love playing this when I was younger as well. It's, it's a game that basically you have this area here, and there are 10 mines in it. And what your goal is to do is to cover up those mines and not, basically not lose. So you start out by clicking one space. When you click that space, everything um, around it opens up. Um, your first click will never end the game and then the timer starts. You have three different options for these places. Um, you have the open space, you have a number, or you have a mine. Those are the, the three things that can be beneath each of these. If it's an open space it'll automatically open up for you. If it's a number it'll stop and let you figure things out. So what the numbers mean is that that's how many mines it's touching. So this space is the only one that that one is touching. So that means that that one is a mine. What you do to cover up a mine or to sweep mine sweep it is you right mouse click and it puts up a flag saying that one's a mine. If you accidentally click on one of those with the left mouse button, here's what it does. Let me get rid of that. Boom. It's a mine and it'll show you all the mines and your game is done and you die. Look. All right. But we knew that one was a mine. Let's start over again and just show you again. We know that it's a mine if it's a one on an angle. It's the only thing touching it. So we know that one's a mine and we know that one's a mine. Now what you can do after you know where a mine is, you can start planning around that. For example, this one is touching a mine. So that means this place can't be a mine. It can only be touching one. So I know that that's a safe place. Now I keep going. I know that that one's safe. I know that that one's safe. Now this one's touching two mines. It's only touching two places, so I know that that one's a mine. And you can keep moving forward, you know, going around the outside or, or whatever. What you can also do, a shortcut, is instead of clicking um, here, this one is touching a mine right there. It's touching two places that are not mines. We know that those are not mines because that one is already touching one. So I can click right on that one and it will automatically clear those two places. It cleared those ones and blanks together automatically clear. So it actually cleared that whole section for us, leaving us with a new place to start working. This one is a one, only touching one place. That's a two, only touching two places. So I can click on this two and it will clear that or I could click on the one and it'll clear that. See how that works? So I'm going to click on the one right there. And I'm going to click on this one again because it's touching just there. So are there other places that you can see that have mines in them? This one's touching just two places, so we know there's a mine there. This one's touching two here and here, so there's not a mine right there. And that makes it so that this one is a mine. Oh, this is going to clear a whole bunch in there, I bet. Bing. This clears it out. Hopefully you can see that this one is a mine. And that one's a mine. And notice the number, this two is the number of mines that you've said are mines. Now you can click and say that everything's a mine, um, but that doesn't always work, right? All right, so we don't know for sure that those ones are mines until after you either win or if you accidentally click on one. So let's take a look. Uh, this one tells us that that is not a mine, and this one tells us that those two are not mine. So that one is our mine, and we've won. Congratulations, you won. So you could see how that, that works. Um, again, you use the numbers to figure out where the mines are. You put the flags on them to cover them up. Once you've cleared all the space, you win that round. I hope that that little tutorial was helpful for you. It's lots of fun to play that. Um, I'll give you the link in, in the comments as well if you don't have this on your computer of a place where you can play it for free. Have a great day, guys.